All right, so I was making videos, so I'm gonna make another one to, just for a little bit. So you come back to your stand and you wanna uh, put some corn out and all that kind of neat stuff. So I use a product that I've been using for the last couple years and uh, it brings in the deer but you want the deer to hang out. So you don't want to go and pour a whole sh shoot load of corn down. You want to put a little bit of corn. You want to spread it around. You know, spread that stuff. Because that's going to bring them in, you know. Do it before you get up in your stand. You know, spray yourself down, you know, with some downwind or whatever, you know, so you're not tracking up the woods really bad, you know. And just put a little bit of corn. See how I just speckled the, the pathway. You don't want to put a whole buttload of corn down. Because, yeah, it's going to, they're going to stay there for a couple minutes until they get the belly full. But you want them to come in grazing you know, and hanging out. You know, don't, I mean, as soon as they come in, don't fucking pop them. Because just let them come in and graze. In case there's a couple up in the woods that you don't see. You know, let them come in too. Because it might be a better shot for you. Or, or you find another deer that's a bigger deer. And not a younger one. So let the deer come in. And uh, and hang out and just walk through. Now they're gonna come and bunch up in a pile and all that kind of stuff. They're gonna hurry up and eat, you know, because the other one's right next to them. You know, it's it's fending for the you know the strongest. But if you just got kernels laying everywhere, like I do, it gives all the deer to come in. They can go anywhere they want next to each other, or whatever, and they feel a little bit more safe and secure. And then, you know, you can take your shot. If you have to, mark your trees. You know, your pin yardage and all that kind of stuff. Or if you're shooting a gun, it doesn't matter. Just, you know, blast one or whatever. But And then I spray this product across everything. I didn't bring it back, but I'll do it in a couple of minutes. After I stop the video, I sprayed the product all over where I just was. And it's real sweet smelling. Um, I will let everybody know. I just want to get more footage on there. So you guys will see that deer do come in. Um, it's, I mean, it's like 7 o'clock, something like that in the morning. If that, um, I have all day. These deer come in my woods all the time. Where I test all my products at, they're, they're in here. Because I keep on feeding them. They they know that they got food here. I mean, there has been some harvest out of here. The ones are uh, antlers are messed up, and and a couple does just to knock down that population because it's really heavy around here. We get a lot of people killed and hurt on the streets, especially during rut. So I do take out some deer. Just you know, just because they need to be weaned out. A lot of people don't hunt through here, but every once in a while I do. Just to knock down the population. Because if you keep them going with them, they're gonna, they're gonna ever populate, they're gonna crossbreed, and all that kind of crap, and it's just gonna be a real messed up deer, and it's gonna hurt them in the long run. So, like I said before, throw out the corn sporadically, spray your, your product across the top of it, where you were on some trees and some greenery and stuff like that. You noticed all the trees around here, all the lower halves are eating off. But over in here, I haven't sprayed over there. I might have sprayed over here and there. So, just, you know, if you have any questions or, or, or you want to go ahead and get in touch with me and tell me what I'm doing wrong, if I'm doing something wrong, that would be really appreciative. 
Um, just leave me a thing, subscribe to my videos. Um, you know, let's let's make this a good hunting year. I mean, it's only been in for maybe what a week, a week and a half, something like that. Probably a little longer. I'm not really sure. Uh, so just yeah, subscribe to my videos and let me know what you guys think. Okay, have a good day.